Hey you guys, just wanted to go ahead and appear on video to actually give y'all guys an update on actually I left y'all hanging a little bit on the 2020 setup. video <laughs> and actually this is like a video that is long overdue but basically i just wanted to go ahead and give y'all this my take on all the equipment that i've been using for the past two years and uh, i know that y'all seen a piece of equipment that i've upgraded uh since then um I think it was the Echo uh, 20, 26, uh, 25, uh, that multi-tool, I mean, man, it was a homeowner's edition I had to get rid of. <laughs> so this is, that will not, no longer be in my, my setup <laughs> because I had so many issues getting that thing to start from start to finish, getting a job. Most of the jobs I had to do from the start, it worked. Finishing a job, I had to use a lot of hand tools and everything of that nature. But here it goes, you guys. All right, I just wanted to go ahead and recap this video. So basically that you can have I can have visual of all the stuff that I'm I'm going to be accumulating over the years. So with that being said, let me go ahead and turn the video camera around. Now, let me go ahead and get a good look at all the stuff I got. You know what I mean? I know it don't seem much, but it got me through two, two years. <laughs> And some of the stuff was given to me. That barrel was not in the 2019 video, but it was given to me shortly after that video. Man, it was came in handy for most of my leaf cleanup jobs and trimming jobs. I still am battling the yards out with the PV770T. Echo blower. Then I got like the what is it, the turtle collector? What is recycler 22 smart stroke ready start? Yeah, I love that thing right there. But sometime or another, I'm gonna have to go ahead and retire her. I need something upgraded for like a commercial style board been saying that since the start but I gave this one a go all right and uh, the echo what is 2526 I think I think it's the echo 2526 let me see uh, 2620 uh, man that's everybody's go-to that's also my go-to tremor man I've been busting up yards left and right with those. All right, let me go ahead and back off so y'all can see what's going on. This is my edger. With that being said, I have the PE, what is, 2620. Then the new addition to the family is the still but it is the still 91R attachment series combi combi for neck name. And uh, with that being said, I forgot to get that the attachments, but I do have hedger attachments and I do got a pole saw and a stitch attachments for, for this one. And uh, with that being said, I'm rocking the what it is the 10 gallon uh, gas tank and uh, the, the three gallon gas tank also everybody's been looking forward to the 
Well, actually, the two-year follow-up on that. And I'm going to go ahead and give you all a special video for that. But for the meanwhile, this has been lasting me for a good little while. I've been having my my fail and starts in the winter time, but it's for a carbureted system. You can't beat it. Uh, a few broken for the Ferris Z60. Well, actually, F. Hello, you guys. This is Maurice of Oscillaris Line Care. Just wanted to go ahead. Sorry about interrupting your guys' video footage and stuff like that. I know y'all guys are into the video that y'all are watching right at this time, but please give me a take on what you think about this video, what you took home, and also like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. All right there. I'll talk to y'all later. F6Z. I'm gonna sop it up. Sorry about that, y'all. I have somebody to call in. I got the barrel. I mean, it's like a hundred dollar barrel. It's like a Jackson's third edition. Got it practically for nothing, just for doing the yards. Got paid handsomely for it. And then I, he told me to just go ahead and carry it away. So with that being said, this is all the equipment that I have. And I'm grateful and I pray to God that none of this equipment actually put side on me before I can be able to upgrade. I'm looking forward in the next year or so to go ahead and, and keep the F60Z and uh, get another mower. I'm not going to jinx myself on if I'm going to get it next year, this year, or the year after that, but I will be. Just stay tuned. Look forward to it. You'll see it in the videos. All right. But that being said, I got a single axle trailer, which I'm probably going to have to upgrade this one as soon as I get my next more because I've been looking at all the, you know, the, the videos where they're saying, hey, you know what, you need to go ahead and upgrade the trailer because of the axle right there to start bending There's certain things that will break in that axle. I never really paid close attention to that, but I bought the trailer before I actually started the, my lawn care career. And then here's the Chevy. Got a few dits and things on it, but it's still in, still in play. Signs there. Let me go ahead and back up. And That's just about it. 2013 Chevy Silverado LT. So I know that some people are watching and they're probably wondering what I, I actually got in trouble with that. And uh, at the auto parts place to try to go ahead and get the, the oil filter and filter system changed just to find out <laughs> just to find out just to find out that the the oil was right the filter was wrong and it's a certain type of Silverado that is meant for like commercial style it's a commercial style pickup it's a very basic truck that, that I'm not going to lie to you does not have any the only thing that has luxury toward that is uh, the windows, the radios, and the air condition. That's it. It does not have, and I think it has uh, retraction control. It has a trailer assist, assist in it, but it still does need to have a, a brake control system install in it so with my next trailer i'm probably gonna have to go ahead and look forward to purchasing that making that purchase and uh pretty much the same thing man i mean this is how i've been doing my lawn care one step at a time you don't have to have anything that's big out there to do 
they cut the grass but anything that that counts i mean basically for cutting this grass out here and stuff like that it's not but like little premature yards i'm doing for right now looking forward to going and tipping over to the commercial side of things and actually handling those uh what they call uh those uh prospects as well so <laughs> the ones i've been noticing man they that trip so that's why i've been shaking my head at that <laughs> somebody warned me don't go there so let me go ahead take y'all around again so look at that man it's a it's a difference you now that you know two years can bring to you i never thought that basically they when i started the this line journey i never thought that i can basically make it without no job and i end up buying a piece of equipment and up making truck payments but hey you know what staggering them but making them and uh that would conclude my the end of my 2020 oh yeah y'all see my my other car in the back background <laughs> that's my other one long story short it's sitting here all right that'll include my 2020 setup video all right i hope y'all guys enjoy this one and don't forget man to go ahead like comment and subscribe to this video and hit that notification bell button so that you can stay updated to all the videos that I will mass produce. I'm sorry that I've been not putting putting out videos. Been very busy now nowadays. I don't know what it is. I mean, man, is it the season? Because last year, about around the summertime, I was kicking up. I mean, this year since the coronavirus has been out been running around like the bandit and we ain't we ain't got better it's my notion is the nation ain't got better sense so hopefully everything in god's hands you know i don't include that in all the presidency i don't get polished polished by a politician talk and all that stuff but Hopefully they get it together. If not, I'm still going to be making the same money next year. All right, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.